We're lock time. We've crashed. It's not a crash. We've got power. I can't log in. Could a hacker cause havoc on a city's traffic signal system? Let's talk about it. In most modern cities, traffic lights are controlled by a central computer system. They use a technology called SCADA, or Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition. So in theory if a hacker could gain access to this SCADA system, they could manipulate traffic lights. So in theory, yeah, I guess anything's possible. You know, if you've been around for a minute or two, you've seen in the past few weeks cyber attacks on telecom companies, stealing potential national security data, listening in on your phone conversation, taking your text. So you think telecom companies, why not traffic signals? They're archaic. But you might be surprised that traffic signals are more secure than you think. Now, I'm sure many of you have seen the movies where they show cyber attacks on traffic signal systems. The one that comes to mind is this one. They are about to hit a major detour and be sent your way. <laughs> What's funny about that clip is you got a fully staffed traffic management center that doesn't know what to do. One, they don't know what to do. But what's funnier than that is they're fully staffed. And one thing only. Jesus. To keep you living in fear. Oh, fear? Total fear. Fear so you'll go out and you'll spend money on things. Things you probably don't even need. Things you probably already have six of. So that their advertisers will keep buying ads on their stations. I'll tell you one more thing. You ready for this? That traffic light just sequenced from red to yellow to green? Okay. So you might be saying to yourself, John, how can you be so sure that you cannot break into traffic signals? Well, I'm not saying you can't break into them. In fact, here are two hackers that were successful at getting into a traffic signal system. Let's see what they have to say. Fake a lot of cyclists in the city, for example. Well, we wrote a Python script to just send this post with the correct information. And uh, well, we, we uh, recorded the demo on it and I would like to show the demo. Um, here you will see a video uh, where we are at a traffic light, at a, at a connected traffic light on an intersection. And in this video, there is other traffic at the intersection and you will see that the system reacts and the waiting sign turns on. But uh, well, it will wait until it goes to green. Uh, well, when it's safe. So that's quite important to note. Um, the safety system stays intact, so it will never turn two lights at green uh, at the same time. Could uh, uh, pose a real threat for, uh, uh, for uh, traffic. Um, luckily, security systems will stay intact, so there's no like hacker style, all the lights green at the same time, cars hitting each other, stuff like that. Um, so just currently we're uh, able to annoy you. Um, which is all already fun. Uh, so that security device that they're talking about, they're talking about this, a malfunction management unit, or what's above me, a conflict monitor. But they both do the same thing. They are the watchdog of the traffic signal. So their whole purpose is to make sure that you don't have conflicting signals or multiple indications of the same direction or the sequencing of lights. They all have to be in accordance of what the conflict monitor says. So. If it's anything that's out of its threshold, it's gonna take that signal and put it into a red flash state for the safety of the drivers. And what makes these more secure is this program card. This program card has soldered jumpers on it. And what it does, what it tells the conflict monitor are permissive movements that can come up together. So if there are, for instance, conflicting directions that come up, if it's not on this card, it's not allowed and it's gonna take that signal and put it in flash. So this thing with this card does a whole lot to protect the intersection. Now, knowing what that conflict monitor can do, let's go back and look at this clip to see how many times that conflict monitor would put that signal in flash. Okay, that's a yellow clearance fault. Let's see, uh, yeah, we got conflict, uh, dark signal, dual indication. Yeah, people are still driving through the malfunctioning lights like it's nothing. 
keep on going through it. Oh, it's still going. We'll just keep driving through it. There! Finally, we got our wreck. Okay, I've gone full-on hacker mode here. Behind me, I've got a test board. It's a typical city intersection. You've got a two-way direction, a three-section head, green, yellow, red for one way, another three-section head, green, yellow, red for the other direction. Behind that is what you would typically find in a trapezoidal cabinet. It's the hardware, components, everything you would need to run an intersection. Now, as a hacker, I'm going to want to cause havoc to this city intersection. So I'm going to do my best to recreate what you saw in those videos. Okay, let's start by bringing up greens for both directions and see if we can't cause an accident here. All right, you saw both greens highlight for just a second, but that conflict monitor saw a conflict in both directions and put that signal on red flash. All right, dang it, that did not work. So I know what I'll do now. I'll bring up multiple indications for the same direction and really confuse drivers. Let's do that. Mm. Went into red flash there and I have a conflict monitor fault of dual indication. Hmm, this conflict monitor is pretty good. I know what I'll do. The controller outputs indications out to the street. If I could take the controller out of the picture and do my own manipulation of the indications, that will get it. Let's try that. Okay, what happened there was the conflict monitor that also monitors the controller saw that the controller is out of the picture and put the signal into red flash. Hmm, so I'm starting to figure out that this conflict monitor is a very important piece of this traffic signal. So now I know what I'll do. I'm going to take the conflict monitor out of the picture, let the controller continue to run its outputs to the intersection, take the conflict monitor out of it. So as a hacker, I figured out how a way to kill power off to the conflict monitor. So let's do that. You can see the controller still running up here. The conflict monitor is dead. What happened there is there's actually safety mechanisms in place. So if the conflict monitor is taken out of the picture, it reversed to a flash circuit that's inside this cabinet as well to protect the intersection. Mm, as a hacker, I'm starting to get very frustrated. Okay, so I've been trying to go from the inside. Let's go from the outside. I want to go to the intersection in the dark of night and go up and physically remove, let's say, the yellow indications for one direction. Now, you would normally have, in fact, you would have multiple three-section heads for one directional movement. But for the sake of this video, let's just say there's only one three-section head. I'm going to go up and I'm going to remove the yellow, confuse drivers because they're only going to see a red and a green. So here I am sneaking out in the middle of the night. Before I even got that yellow fully removed, the signal went into flash. That's because the conflict monitor is monitoring those loads out in the street. If it sees a complete loss of let's say the yellow direction, uh, yellow indication for that movement, it's gonna put that signal into flash. So as a hacker, I'm about ready to give up. I've tried to take the conflict monitor and the controller both out of the picture. I've tried to bring up multiple indications or conflicting indications. I tried to physically remove the indications, but there's safety measures in place to keep that signal from running in that, that setup. So the signal goes to flash if we try to do anything like that. Now, can a traffic signal be hacked? I mean, you saw in that previous video, those hackers were able to get in, but what they did was to manipulate the detection to bring up indications unnecessarily. Uh, you probably already witnessed that as a driver on unmaintained traffic signals when there's greens on side street and you're wondering why, you know, they got a green because there's no one there. But just know as a driver, feel safe that there's a conflict monitor there to oversee the intersection. All right, so to wrap things up, I think you should feel very safe as a driver with the security of a traffic signal. You know, what you see in the movies, those scenes are meant to be suspenseful and interesting, but in reality, I think I just showed you today, that's just not quite possible. A hacker might be able to make a traffic signal annoying, but at the end of the day, 
Probably the most annoyance you're gonna have is a scene like this. Come on. Hey, it's a green! Put in your badge and your weapon. Green! I don't wanna see you anywhere near this. Put in your badge and your weapon. Um, no. 